Dave, how long did you work at Buckingham Palace? Uh, for about two and a half years altogether. And what were your duties? Well, to start off with, um, I started in the servants' hall, which basically is um, I used to serve everybody. And then after a year, I graduated to another dining room, and I went down and ate in the servants' hall and got served by other guys that were coming in. I see. So everybody at Buckingham Palace serves everybody else. Yeah, it's even a vicious the circle. Oh, I yeah. see. And how did you get to work there in the beginning? Um, well, my father's a butler for Lord Salisbury in England. And the usual story as a boy, I'd always sort of help him. And um, when I was 14, he offered me the job, you know, asked me if I'd like to work there. And um, off I went. What do you think was the funniest thing that ever happened to you at Buckingham Palace? The funniest? Uh, they're ne never very funny at the time, but when I think of them later on, they're very funny. You know, dropping food over people and um, various things like that. Actually, one time, I was threatened with a sack because I used to sleep in a lot. And I was told that if I wasn't in the dining room to serve breakfast the following morning, um, that would be that. So I slept underneath the table in the dining room. And when I woke up, there was all these little boots there. <laughs> and I'd blown it. <laughs> but it's OK. Now, there's a great legend going around the ABC about how you got stuck in the lift with the Queen one day. Oh, yeah. Um, I was taking the Queen's dresses dinner up on a rather heavy tray. There's a little ledge in the, the lift that you rest your tray on. And the lift stopped at the second floor and the Queen got in and was going up to the third floor. And she stood right where you rest the tray. So I had to sort of stand there and grunt with the tray. And the lift got stuck between the second and the third floors. and. Um, so we started to talk about the weather and little things like that. And then down below, a voice came up and uh, screamed up the elevator, you know, what are you doing with the lift? And I really couldn't follow that up with anything. So I just stood there and died. And she called down the, the shaft in an unmistakable voice, you know, uh, the lift appears to be stuck. And you could hear this sort of muttering down below. And, bit of patter of feet running up the corridor to get assistance. <laughs> but it was quite amusing afterwards. What was what was about the most uh, embarrassing thing you ever had to go through at Buckingham Palace? Um, going up and getting a Christmas present the first year from the Queen and the Duke. What, was, what did they give you? Uh, a riding case and a pair of socks. I remember. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people would like to know what the Queen has for breakfast and lunch and dinner too. She just has basically what everybody else has. Um, you know, bacon and eggs, roast pork, peas, potatoes, you know. But uh, her meal's got such a long way to, to travel that by the time she gets it, it's usually sort of half cold or uh, this is when she's having a normal meal besides a, a banquet or something. And everybody's always, you know, acquiring a carrot or something on the way up, you know. And so by the time she gets it, it's sort of a second-rate meal. <laughs> Well, what are the employment opportunities for, say, young Australians going overseas, getting jobs at Buckingham Palace? Oh, it's, it's fine. I got uh, two girls, went over there about three years ago and got a job there as housemaids. It's just a matter of uh, knowing who to go and see because... Well, how do you know who to go to see? Uh, well, it's the if you want to be a housemaid, you go and see the housekeeper. If you want to be a steward, you go and see the palace steward. Um, See, they can't advertise in the newspaper for staff, really, because it's not the done thing. That's so virtually word of mouth. 